It's actually a steel FS110R and uh, we've got a throttle cable issue. I can mash the throttle but it's not operating the carburetor at all. So let's pop this cover off. It's just one screw here and then two screws up front and this whole engine cover will come off. As I depress the throttle as you can tell nothing is going on here in the carburetor. So it's going to be up here in this handle, so let's get this handle split open and see what's going on. There's four screws you want to remove. There's one, two, three, four. Don't worry about the ones down in here. Don't remove those just yet, unless you have to. Carefully, and I mean carefully, pry this up on one side to expose the throttle cable. And as you can tell, the throttle trigger is actually broken. Let's go ahead and remove the broke piece away. Just leave it hooked up to the throttle cable for the time being. What you want to do is slide the spring. There's a spring that rides right here, and I'll show you how to hook all that back up. Just take the throttle cable, feed it in. twist it and it just falls in place. Once you have your throttle cable installed on the trigger we're going to just slide it down over the axle post. When you install the spring it's going to be installed underneath the crook of the throttle cable like that. And then put this hook right here. When you get everything installed it should look like this. Go ahead and get your other half of your trigger assembly guard put back on. Tighten down your screws. Just remember you're going into plastic. You don't have to over torque these because you'll strip them out. Everything's working like it should. If you have any questions how to install the trigger on a 4 mix trimmer, let me know. More Medic One. Have a good day.